is how every morning starts. Francis just being packed about an hour before me and James and then waiting for us. It's true. Can you can you show us where we've woken up today? There. It looks the same as the last three cities we've been in. Um it's quite nice. It's foggy. Oh we both feel unwell. Do you feel unwell? No, I feel fine. No, I feel like I got the flu. Well we're gonna take those painkillers and then find a pharmacy. Find a pharmacy. Yeah. <laughs> the woman had a Pinarello dogma. Yeah, what was going on there? It was probably worth So we waved hello and she was just like... <laughs> <laughs> He's got his... What have you found? Drugs that look like horse tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, they must be good then. 400 milligrams of ibuprofen. Oh, right. Um, more adhesive bandages. And, and a whole pack of tampons. Yes, Lawrence, that's exactly what they are. Look at that. You asshole. <laughs> Talking to the locals, then yeah. just making new friends. Um, they can't. They're the only people that can make sense out of it. <laughs> they're the only people that will listen. <laughs> yeah. You do what you need to do. That looks <coughs> look much better. Oh, you like that as well. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Yes, yeah, it does look much better. So we're an hour into this one. We've made a really good start to the day. Actually, we've done 28, it's almost 29 kilometers in the first hour. Where are we going? I think there was a cut through. We got lost for a couple of seconds there and had to ride back the wrong way. Realised how much of a tailwind we have today. How nice is that tailwind? Hey, yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been nice today. Covered some good ground, got tailwind, empty roads. Where are we? This is the first time we've been riding and haven't seen like shops every two minutes. It's stunning, isn't it? It's really good. Oh dear. Flat. Flat here. We were making such good progress. We were, we were. We had to groove and boogie. Yeah. As if you've made the man with the broken arm, hurt arms fix the puncture. I fixed it. He just used the CO2. It's probably good for his hands because it's cold. These are the puncture tubes. So I'm going to keep them for in emergency. this bag. Boys, made it to halfway? No. Karaoke bar. More than halfway. More than halfway. Yeah. It's hot today, isn't it? I can't really feel it. It's a bit sticky. I don't care about what it is. Well, that really is a mix, isn't it? <clears throat> <laughs> Looks like party food. Yeah. I feel like I'm a toddler again. Yeah. <laughs> I think he likes you. Yeah. Makes one of us. You fucking asshole. Ice Ice. in your hat. Put it on my head. Do you want some more ice, maybe? Maybe down your pants as well. This time you're <laughs> So, uh, ready to onwards? Onwards. We've yeah. got 20 miles left. Unfortunately, it's on the queue. Whatever, whatever road, the big one. Yeah. But it's only the last bit of the ride, so. Uh, we just needed a little bit of a cool down, didn't we? Yeah. It was getting a bit overwhelming. James needed to put an ice pack on his head. <laughs> you needed to have your sleep. Uh, you hey, had your sleep. Hey, I had my 30 winks. I flew the drone. It's quite nice around here.
just a load of cows <laughs> going for a walk down basically a motorway. Last little bit now. Today has felt a lot harder than it should have been for a few reasons, but less than an hour, we'll have our feet up in the hotel. Probably got no one in it. No, they never do. I think, do you remember when we came into the hotel last night after going for food? Yeah. And there was one light on, <laughs> the whole like tower block. Oh yes, it's another uh, triple. Finishing today, I'm gonna take this desk. That is not my view. Oh, shame. <laughs> shame about <laughs> whatever that is. Paint all over the windows. <laughs> oh, there's our swimming pool. Which we're not gonna use. And there's our tennis courts, which we're not gonna use. And there's our football pitch that we're not gonna use. I don't know what that is. Is that a maze? There are three beds that we are going to use. I don't really care what we eat, as long as it's moderately edible. <laughs> I'd like lunch. Lunch was shit. Lunch wasn't lunch. Lunch was a free-for-all at a 10-year-old's birthday party. Cheers. Cheers. There you go, Francis. Yeah. All for you. I've ordered three dishes. Three uh, main courses. Why did you do that? Uh, because we've only eaten fucking soup for the last seven days. We had sausage links for lunch. <laughs> we did. He just did. stared at them. What an I have cucumber. Morning. I mean, afternoon. Morning, mate. Got just rice. Got just rice. You've got just chips. Got one less now. All right. Why are we sat in a hotel for lunch? It's my fault. I've been getting progressively sicker every day to the point this morning that, well, listen to my voice. <laughs> <laughs> and we woke up and we looked out the window and we saw that. Yes. And we decided, stuff that. We're gonna stay in the hotel for a little bit. So I've just solved the problem that I've created. Unlike what Francis would do, which would just be to create more problems. Because that's all he does. He's, he's, he's a problem creator rather than a solver. <laughs> so what's the plan? So we are going to a uh, fast track um, down south to Huey. So we're going to go to Huey. It's a four hour journey. <laughs> it's I've cost. Just, I've just all, um, paid uh, about 25 pounds for it. <laughs> <laughs> With everything. <laughs> With everything. For a private taxi. Um, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? We're on a sleeper bus, obviously. A sleeper bus? Why would we not be? Why would we not be when we booked a private, private coach? We thought it was private, but this is better. This is better. Well, I'm reclining. I'm literally lying down. I can sleep. Yeah, but the bikes. What are the bikes? They're in the undercarriage. Yeah. So for sound. Go over that bridge yeah. and just go north. And just drop a shoe in the road. You might want those. Cheers, brother. <laughs> We're gonna spend. Are you? You? James doesn't think he's ready to ride 70 miles tomorrow. Which but apparently, I'm ready to ride for drink four beers. But no, I'm not. I really. So we'll do. A ride around Hawaii tomorrow. We we'll take the bikes off, uh, take the bikes, off, bags of bikes, and go for a spin around, find some drone locations and stuff. Experience a bit of it. We've actually got rest days to use up before we get to Saigon, so why not use them and just experience a bit of the country? We will see you then for a day of exploring this city. Hopefully, the rain holds off. See you there.